right. What's your All topic? Right, cool. uh, ran- random question, okay? If you guys had to choose, would you rather die by drowning or die by being burned alive? What do you think's worse? So it's either you're gonna die by drowning or die by being burned alive. Burned alive. You'd rather be burned alive. No, that's worse. You okay? Oh, actually, yeah, I'd rather die being burned alive. Yeah. Yeah, because it's worse. Wait, why? Wait, <laughs> what? That makes no sense. What the fuck? What's, it's worse. What is what is wrong with you, dude? Being what? burned alive, dude. I think you go unconscious before you die when you get when you drown. No, but like, so why would you choose the worst one? I don't know, man. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Okay. I don't know, I'll man. I'll say drowning. Drowning. Because it's easier? The drowning? I mean, yeah. no. So yeah, it's easier. For me. Bro, come on. The last thing you're going to do and you're going to take the easy route? The, okay, but. Bro, bro come no, on. You got okay. to enter the afterlife. Um, uh, what's it called? Relax, bro. I'm <laughs> trying to get all stressed out and nah, you get in fucking like hyped up. Like, fuck. No, no, no. I got burned. <laughs> you got the no. adrenaline after life. No, me personally, I've always like, I've always had like a fear of drowning. You went to boat? No, I have. I have like a fear of drowning, so I feel like I would. I would pick burning because the idea of drowning scares me. Dude, I've almost drowned three times. <sighs> three times? Three times? How? Well, I don't know how to swim. Or, like, I, don't, I can't float. I don't. Like, I sink. Hey, you, guys, you guys hear this? Mr. M can't swim. I literally sink. Like, put me hey, in water. His, his, uh, his mustache is too heavy. It makes him sink. I yeah, just yeah, sink, yeah. dude. I don't know how to float. But <laughs> the, the most recent time, I was in, um, where was I? I was in a river. And I got in there, and it wasn't that, like, deep, right? But I kept walking, and it just went, like, like fucking deep. I don't know where. Yeah. And I was like, like a ledge. There. Yeah, yeah, and it just like like sank all the way to the bottom. I was like, "What the fuck?" So I'm at the bottom, right? And I'm like moving my arms around and stuff. And I was with my family, but my family thought I was playing around. <laughs> so they're like, "Oh, just leave him there. Like he's just playing around, right?" So then I'm like, I sink at the bottom, and I'm like moving my arms. I'm like, "Damn, what do I do?" Like I just, I literally stood at the bottom. Like, what am I supposed to do right now? <laughs> like I didn't panic. I was just like, "Damn, what am just, I gonna do?" Just sank like a rock. So and then, but I, like, I felt all the dirt at the bottom. And then I like I literally like scraped the dirt and I like pulled myself back up. What about? Um, but I could have died. All your, all your family, like all your siblings, none of them know how to swim either, though, right? No, none of them do. So then, how did they think it was a joke? If like no one in your family knows how to swim. No, because it wasn't that deep. But then it was. Oh. And they thought I was in the like you know it wasn't deep part. Oh, okay, they're like always oh, just messing around. Yeah, like, yeah, gotta... just around because oh. everyone was in the water. Okay, okay. But I'm the only one that walked so far where it was deep. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. So just then... dropped off a cliff out of nowhere. Dude, it was bad. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, man. No, so, but I, I think being burnt alive would probably be not better, but like, you know, more more memorable. Memorable, I guess. Go up in flames, dude. Imagine. But what? also, also, how are you getting burnt alive? Like, is someone doing it to you, or like, oh, it just by accident something happened in your house, and now your house is on fire? I think uh, I never really thought past that that idea. Like, you know, just like, just in a general sense, you're either drowning because you got trapped underwater, or you got trapped in a fire, not because someone was burning you yeah, alive. Either one, it sucks, man. No, yeah. but what what if you survive the burning? Like you know, like Anakin, you know, like you get like burned Anakin, up. okay, get burned up, and you survive. Shit. Yeah, mm. survival victims of burning and survival victims of drowning are two completely different things. Okay, okay, not bad answers. Okay, another random question. Okay, so if you with the, how you are right now, let's say in this life we're living, yep. if you could pick two superpowers to be given any two superpowers what would they be why and what would you use them for i think one of them would have to be like fly fly yeah being able to fly okay so you'd want to fly and then what's the other one i don't know you get two think about it okay what about mr r i'll say teleport teleportation okay that's a real time saver right there you can teleport anywhere but I feel like there'll be catches to it, you know? Yeah, like, you're, you, be, like... You gotta visualize, like, where the place is. Like, what it is the place. Like, you can only teleport once a day or something. 
Oh, or no, like, this. or like a lot of times in TV shows, um, you can only teleport to places that you've like been. Like if you've been there once, or you like can visualize it, some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So teleportation and what else? Yeah. Let me think about the second one. I mean, there's a lot of good ones, like super strength. Yeah. That's pretty cool too, man. Or speed. Well, and, but like, and that, but that's the question though. Like, what, what would you use it for? Like, you know, like if you, if you were just, if you literally just woke up this morning and you just had these two powers, like what, what is going to be the, like, what is going to be the first thing you do? Like what, what is now your, now, what is your life's that's mission? True. I think, I think one of them would have to be just for yourself and then the other one would have to be to help other people. So, so to fly would be just like flying doesn't help anyone but me. I mean, well, no, that's not true because you could like save people out of like a falling bus off the fucking side of the. Work for FedEx. Uh, work. For- <laughs> 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 okay. No, but like, yeah, flying can help people, bro. You can save people that are falling off a bridge, bro. Like, that's save true. them. But then you also need to be able to like catch them. A, f- a person falling off a bridge. Yeah, think but you can fly. You but yeah, think about the strength you need for that. Someone's flying off a bridge, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. They're, 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 they're a light person, you super know? Super speed they're... would be cool, too, though. And what would you use the super speed for, To, though? like, win the Olympics? Win the Olympics? Gold medal every time? Okay, okay. What about your, your first option, uh, Mr. R? Well, what would you use the teleportation for? What do you think? Like, if you actually had teleportation right now, like, what what is, like... What Same is thing, dude. We're prophetic. Or for <laughs> so the thing is, uh, it's hard to say, like, to even have superpowers, like, how do you know you're still going to be doing good things? Obviously, if you start leaning towards, like... No, like, yeah, that, that's kind of, like, what I was curious about is, do you think that when you're when you're given power like that, do you think that it would, like... Uh, great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, like, do you think that it can uh, it can corrupt the mind, you know? Or can can you be altered by your own emotions to, like do something unjust because in that moment you felt a certain way right like oh this guy cut me off right now fuck this guy let me just fucking super strength fucking push his car and like you know he hits a tree or something yeah or like even if he doesn't even even if he doesn't die right like even if he like broke his leg or something right but like you did that out of like anger like in the in that situation you were like oh like you know he fucking cut me off like do you think it would be bad for humans in general to have any type of like powers like but you know what like we're talking about what with ai mm-hmm. that might be a thing dude what do you mean what, what if like our dna is spliced in such a way where like they give us super strength or they give us like super intelligence or like super super like you're tall like super tall massive yeah or like what do you mean so you mean that our our kids or their kids like our grandkids like are going to be able to be like genetically altered like in the womb yeah. is that what you mean yeah might be so like if i want a super tall kid i can have a super yeah, tall kid or fucking press the button or what you pay extra no you probably have to pay extra for yeah, your you pay kid extra like, i want to i want to pay extra so my kid is like it's like seven feet tall yeah, it's like buying a macbook player like oh you want the 64 gig oh you want the <laughs> and then you're like oh, I oh guess. You... you're like yeah i gotta pay rent this month so well, like, maybe just give me the, the standard you know like oh shit man i don't know hey can i pull a line of credit out so exactly. i can exactly gonna... i want I want I want the seven foot model. You're gonna be going into debt. I, I I really need this kid to be seven foot tall. I need him going to the NBA, like you know what I mean, like. Exactly, dude. What would you do it? I don't know, man. Well, what if a doctor told you that if like you know you were about to have a kid, and he was like, hey, look, you know this new technology's out. You know we're doing trial runs and I uh, give him all the best stuff. I can I can give your son all the best stuff. Your son's about to be born, but I can give him like. Oh, you know, Greek god genetics. I can give them, like, you know, the highest tests. Like, you know. I mean, yeah, why not? Why would you say no? It's, I don't like, know. it's like saying, hey. um, It's like saying, hey, I could give you all this money. Do you want it? And it's just like, yeah, sure, of course not. Why am I going to say no? Well, but it's kind of like the idea that in the universe, every action has a consequence, whether it's positive or negative, right? So, like, you know, what? That free money, yeah, okay, yeah, of course I'd take it, but, like, is there underlying consequences for taking that money? Is there underlying consequences for genetically altering your, your son in the womb? Of course world? there is, man. There so then why, 
Yes, but then why would you do it? Like, do you think the consequences are worth it, even though you might not know what they are? But I mean, why would you say no? Why would somebody give you something good and you're like, yeah, I don't want it? No, no, no. But like I'm saying, because you're weighing the consequences of the idea of, hey, what if something bad happens? Like, you know, what if it doesn't go right? Da, 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 right? Like, there's, there's a chance. Like, there's a chance because this... Uh, but is it, that the risk? I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking, like, if he becomes, like, a bad guy. No, I, I was thinking, like, what... Like, you know, it, it's a risk in the sense of, like... Like, maybe, like, it works, right? But then what if, like, at a certain age, like, he develops some type of, like, late defect or something or, like... Like, you know, uh, Alzheimer's or I mean, something at 20. You, like, can, you, can't, you can't tell me, hey, he's going to have this, but he's going to die prematurely. Or no, 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 no. But I'm saying, like, it's a new thing, so you don't know. I'm saying that no, there's, under, I, I'm I, saying there's underlying consequences that you're not considering. I thought what we were saying is, like, this is given. Like, the given is that he's going to have these attributes. Yeah, no, no, that is yeah, the so given. You can't give me the given and then say, oh, but he's going to have that thing. No, no, no. I'm not saying he will. I'm saying there's a possibility he could. Like, the, 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 the doctor says, okay, look, he'll have high tests, he'll have all this, blah, 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 he'll, like, be seven feet tall, whatever, right? Seven but feet tall, bro? Some shit, right? Out the womb? Yeah. <laughs> Out the oh. womb. No, but the underlying, the catch is, hey, you know, this hasn't been fully tested with, like, you know, there's not a lot of research done. This is how it's supposed to go. But if, like, you know, there's a chance, like, things can like not go right we don't know what those things are it's just like kind of an untested thing like you know we're doing well, trial no, runs I'm not, I'm not gonna put my child through the trial version give me the real thing I said we're doing trial runs no, like, yeah bro fuck yeah fuck let's do trial. it fuck, fuck the trial, trial. he was like nah bro like I want the fully tested no, version why would I accept the trial dude I said we're doing trial runs no, like, not the trial I wouldn't take the trial okay 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 that's what I asked and you no, were like not, yeah not the, not, the not the trial no what about what about you Mr. S uh, I even if it, if um, if it was a trial, even if it was perfect, I still wouldn't want to choose that. Uh, that that would be dumb, though. Would it? Yeah, dude. So you, like, you have the opportunity to give your your kid something good, and you say, nah, he doesn't he doesn't really want it. But what happens if he's you, not getting it? No, but look at it like this. What happens if you give them all those attributes, and the fact that they know, like, say when they get older, right, and they know that. All these attributes, I mean, attributes were given to them, right? From the start and all that. What if they don't, they like, uh, they lack the ambition, you know? Oh, so wait, you know what? No. Like because they, they say like, well, I'm already perfect. I don't got to do anything. No, that's wait. your fault, dude. No, 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 wait, hold on. The, it kind of does have a point in the that's sense That's your fault of, as a parent, though. Like, you you didn't give your child that part. You were lacked in that area. No, but, okay. He was given this, but you didn't give him this. So that's why he became a bad product. No, but, but if he's so perfect now, what, that's what I'm saying. That you give him all, all these attributes, taller, strength, and all. What is it? You try controlling him, but then for some reason, it's not about controlling. No, okay, no, but I, I think I kind of understand where he's going. Remember the conversation we were having last night? I was saying where do, where does confidence come from? Does the confidence come from having the muscles, physicality wise, seeing your veins, or is it the work that you put in to get there, right? Would you want to take away all that hard work and the struggle that your kid would go through to get all that shit, right? Is that kind of like, I feel like that's kind of what he's saying? Because you're, 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 you're taking away the struggle, right? They're not mutually exclusive. That's the thing. You guys are seeing it as mutually exclusive. What do you mean? You're, you're making it seem like, oh, if he has all these things that make him a perfect specimen, he won't have all these other things that build character. Mm. Well, no, you could have both, but why would you say no? I don't want that, and also maybe not even get the other one. Well, no, but I think if so, okay, if you have someone who has really, really good genetics and doesn't have to work as hard in the gym, and he can get super huge, right? But he doesn't have to work as hard as someone normal like us, right? Yeah. At the end, if when we get to our peak, aren't we gonna have more of a built character because? We went through more shit, yeah. like to get to that point. That's I think that's the point. Yeah, but step one doesn't matter. What do you mean? Like if we have someone that's naturally stronger, it doesn't matter to building because mm. he's just gonna have a different place from start. Like he's yeah. gonna start from a different place, but you guys, like if if I'm stronger than you, right? Uh huh. And we both work out together. We're both gonna develop the same hard work ethic. Okay. Even though I'm stronger than you. Okay. Right? You're still going to come up, and I'm going to come up too. They're not mutually exclusive. Just because 
just because I'm a trust fund baby doesn't mean that I'm gonna be a bad person. That's right? fair. But does the but does the trust fund baby okay? But then at the same time though, does the trust fund baby have to work as hard to become rich if no. they didn't have a trust fund? No, though? they don't have to work as hard. So it's easier for a trust fund baby to become rich. So I mean, the, the, but they does, don't have to work as hard, but they sh- they can they can still. But you're the one who also said humans don't want to do the hard thing. So are they going to most likely? No. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. So they're not going to work. I know, but you you guys are making it seem like it's mutually exclusive. Like if you have one, you can't have the other. No, but I think the the more likely option is if you're given a bunch of shit, then you're not going to work as hard. Yeah, you're not going to want to. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to want to, but you can still do it. Are you saying because you as a parent, you wouldn't let your son be lazy even if he did have all those gifts? Yeah, Is that what you're me. saying? It's on me as a parent to give him the other part, even if he's like physically gifted. So, okay, he's physically gifted and he thinks he doesn't have to try hard. And you come in like, no, like, son, no, stop no. being a bitch. Like, yeah. you know, you're... Well, not stop being a bitch, but like, hey, there's other things aside from being physically gifted. But that gives you an edge. It, it's going to help you, obviously. So you're saying give give your kid the edge, but don't don't let him be a slacker still. Yeah, like, it doesn't know. make sense to me. Like if they offer me something like that, why I would not want to take it. That's like like okay, I have someone in my family that has uh, bone problems, right? Okay. Why would I be like, hey, don't give me the the bone medication, like the calcium or whatever, because I want to earn this on my own. Like no, give me give me the calcium, like you know what I mean make my bones better yeah like ai though it's no yeah. but you know what it, all, it also comes down to the right person a- ai lives don't matter yeah lives don't matter now a- <laughs> yeah what if they did they do take over and they kill me first oh. bro they bro they like, go through they, they didn't hey, want us to be bro they, they go through the youtube algorithm and like they're so smart they could go through all the yeah, data they they're like oh this motherfucker they sent the Terminator to my house. Oh, <laughs> damn, dude, that should be crazy, dude. That would suck for me. Oh, dude, that would suck. <laughs> Man, bro, that's something else. I don't know, dude. Do, do you think like, do you think they actually can though? Like, what do you, like, what do you think though? I feel like when when they all the movies talk about like, you know, oh yeah, like we discovered this thing, you know, to like humans can like mix with like other animals' DNA. We could like, you know, all this shit like. Genetic splicing and stuff like how how much of it do you think is actually like possible? Like, like I remember like in, what was it in in Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man two? Like the the scientist was able to mix his uh, his DNA with lizard DNA because he was a he had a amputee arm, yeah. and he wanted to find a way to get it to regrow. And yeah. lizards can regrow their appendages and their tails, so he fucking started regrowing that shit like. Like, how far does it go? Like, do do we actually think that any of that is even, like, physically might, possible? Yeah, I think it might, I think it might be... I think it might, might be a reality in the near future. You think so? How yeah. come How come we haven't hit that point, though? How come, like, we well, haven't hit they it have, yet? bro, and they're just keeping it to themselves. You think so? Yeah, like, have you heard of those conspiracies? Like, there's, like, uh, technologies that make people live forever. I mean, have you heard about the conspiracy that, like, all those people that are rich in power and politicians, they kill babies and drink their blood because the... <laughs> they they took a turn, dude. Huh? That took a turn. No, but they say, like, oh, yeah, like, it, like you know, they, they kill the kids, like, because if you kill a baby and you use the blood and you let the baby's blood circulate through your blood, it actually makes you younger. Like, they've yeah, done, like, like... replaces the cells or something. Yeah, so, like, they've done tests, so they say all these, like... Like, you know, Hillary Clinton and all of them, like, you know, Tom Cruise, all those guys that are super ultra rich. Yeah. The way they stay young is that they, they're secretly, like, fucking injecting baby's I mean, blood. I don't know if that, that one specifically, but I'm, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say that they don't have technologies to make them. Well, you think, you think it's too far-fetched to the out there killing babies? No, I mean, I just don't know what they're actually doing, but I'm sure they're doing something. Or, like, what about all those, like, satanic rituals that, the, like, you've heard the... What is it? They have the the conspiracy theory about like that. Um, yeah, I forget what it's called, but it was garden? some. It was like some garden place or whatever, and they yeah. like someone had had a video of all these motherfuckers in robes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think, bro. Yeah, like, Alex Jones, I think, went in there with some guy. Yeah. What do you think, bro? What do you think they're doing over there? Yeah, I'm sure they're doing something, man. Praising Satan or I'm like sure doing something, man. I just, I, I don't know, man. To be honest, 
But like I said, it comes down to like all that technology would be good if there's a right person using it. Well, but I feel like no matter what kind of technology you create, there's always going to be bad people using it and good people using it. Like you know. But do you think the do you think the advancement of technology in general? Do you think that's bad for humans? Because there are people that believe that, like you know, people that believe that like life would be so much better if like technology never advanced this far and like life would be better like in like no i think we're living the best time ever in history you think so yeah for sure dude no but yeah like, i it's i it's a really good time to be alive in other words i have heard people online say that life would be better if we like went back to like no like who says that like 1800s no, and shit like no. 1800s That's too far dude back. how did they do surgeries in those years there was there any like pain medications anesthetic i don't know hey can, hey can we get a fact check when was anesthetics yeah, like we need jamie like joe rogan yeah hey we we, we jamie, definitely need jamie that. can you pull that up <clears throat> hey uh mr s can you pull that up uh when was anesthetic created we just see him back there with a laptop yeah bro i'm pretty sure my laptop's back there bro just like it'll bust it out real fast no i'm pretty sure life is the best right now and it's only getting better 